Okay, new video time. Um, I just dropped off um, those motorbike parts from Smugs. Um, owner is stoked with it. They do look very cool. But this video is about ripping the Smugs' engine apart, so we'll get into that tonight. Maybe I'll get it all stripped in um, by tonight, but we'll see. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, time to get started on this. So, first off, same story as before. I'm going to pull off all the accessories, get it down to the basic block, um, probably drain the oil out of it, and then probably tomorrow we'll flip it on its side and we'll start disassembling it. Um, one thing I am worried about on this one, once again, is the front pulley. Trying to snap that free is going to be a dog. So, we'll see how we get on. So, got the exhaust manifold off, got the intake manifold off. So, what I'm going to do now is, well, like I did on the other engine, this one's a lot easier to get to. Undo these two bolts here. We're going to take the SSV valve out and see if that's carboned up. I'm not expecting this to be that bad. Um, it moves free, but um, with 2000 Ks on the clock, um, this engine is um, pre mixed as well as. Um, run off the OMP pump, so I'm not expecting this to be filthy, but we'll see. Okay, so there it is there. There's a little bit of shit in there, but it's just, it's coming off piece of cake, so I'm not too stressed about that at all. So I'll still give it a soak, but um, compared to that other one, this is mint. Yeah. Oh, moving on. Okay, so, so far so good. It's actually um, turned apart quite easily so what I'm going to do now is just drain the oil out and I'm going to try and get as much of it out as possible before we crack the irons open otherwise I just end up with shit all over the floor and not a fan shit that oil is not even bad Far out, she's been pretty well looked after. Um, yeah, hopefully the rest of this engine goes this good. Um, so as I said, pretty simple to strip it apart. Um, you would have seen it in my other videos. So I'm gonna drain this out as much as possible. Then I'm gonna try and lock this up and try and undo that front bolt. And then more than likely tomorrow, up on its side, rip, 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 rip. And then we'll mark the templates, uh, we'll, we'll mark these. Um, pull the side tills out, check it all over, check the housings, check the irons, um, check the rotor bearings and stack gear bearings, uh, make sure everything's fine, I'm 100% sure it is, but we'll check it anyway and and then um, start porting it, give it a clean up and then as soon as I get a soft seal kit for it, back together and then um, get it going home. So with this one we are going to go big with the port um with the bridge itself and we're going to try and get as much of it out as possible what i'm also going to do is take out the scraper bars that are on the outside of the rotor past the oil control rings um apparently they're only for emission controls or whatever something like that so we're going to get rid of them and we, should, we might well i think we can actually shift the exhaust port in towards the center of the iron a bit more with that scraper bar gone so that should have a lot better flow but we'll have a look at it tomorrow when it's all apart and we'll make a call from there well this is going extremely well why this is still draining i just threw this bar on the front with that extension and she's loose so we're probably going to leave it like that for tonight and then as i said before Pull it all apart tomorrow and have a real good look at it and mark those ports up. 
Okay, so it's the next day now. A lot of stuff has drained out of this. So I'm going to rotate this over now. We'll get the sump off. Clean the oil up. That, that's going to spill, no doubt. And then we're going to start disassembling the front. Get this nut off the back. Get all the front stack off. And then take the through bolts out. And then start um, pulling it apart. I'm really curious to see what those rotors uh, look like. Um, I'm hoping there's not much carbon on it. Shouldn't have much carbon on it, but... We'll soon find out. Okay, so we've reached the point now of pulling the front cover off, we get the front stack off, sumps off, I'm pretty sure all the fluid's drained out of it. Um, got the rest of this off underneath, so we're just at the duty end now, so I'll do this and then we'll start pulling the irons apart. So to get the front cover off, you've got all these M12 bolts here. Um, there are some on the water pump, I believe it's these two. You need this one, this one, one down there, there, one there and there. And then once you undo all those, this should just come straight off with the gasket. And then that will expose the whole front stack. See here i've got all the front stack off now and you can tell this engine is pretty new this gasket here is still in really good condition so we'll get this off nicely so i don't have to replace it and then that is the front assembly done so what i'll do now is flip it over get the little pin out of the back in the back of the e-shaft and then um, undo the through bolts and then um, we're into it Okay, all the through bolts are out now, so we should be good. I might just give it a tap up, just to make sure everything is out. All the bolts are out. All right, let's give it a quick little tap. Why is that so tight? Okay, so there we go, we've got our um uh, side still still stuck on the plate there. There's a bit more carbon on that than I would have first thought, to be honest. Okay, let's have a closer look. Yeah, no, nah, she's on there pretty good, to be honest. Um, all control rings seem... No, they're good. This water seal didn't even pop out. This one has a little bit, but we're going to replace these anyway. But, um, yeah, that's more carbon on there than I would have thought. It's not crazy thick. It's like that SSV valve is. It's just going to come off. I mean, that's just lifting with my nail. So it won't be too bad. Okay, we'll carry on. Okay, so we're down to the center iron now. I've just um, had a quick glimpse over the other one. But um, it's not too bad. There's a mark on the E-shaft there. I'll look into that. 
But what we'll do now is we'll get this next one out. So this is the really, really dull one. So what you've got to do is lift the E-shaft up. At the same time, this iron comes up. And if the dowels haven't moved, that one has, damn it. I can sit it on that dowel. Yeah, these water seals are absolutely toast. I wonder if it got hot at any point. It's got a Got a real twang to it, uh, yeah, quite an unpleasant smell, so I'm not sure. Back to what I was doing. It's a knee under the E shaft, and then you can turn this, get on some really squonk angle, and there you go. Sweet side sills are still stuck on the plate. Okay, so what are we looking at there? Did I just lose the side sill? It'll be here somewhere. Um, yeah, no, this one, this one's carboned up quite a bit as well. Okay, well, I'll pull this apart and then we'll have a look at all the parts. Um, but so far, it seems pretty good. It's just, more carbon than I first thought. So this template here is for uh, a four port, but it's only a half bridge. So it only incorporates putting the bridge on the secondaries and not the primary ports. But what we'll do is we'll do these ones here and see it opens up at the top there. And then you have your exhaust. Exhaust right there, which brings this all the way down here. So, what I saw was that if you take the scraper tube out, you can actually see scraper tube, scraper, scraper bar. I don't know, whatever they call it. You can actually see its path of travel through here. And so if you take that out, you could actually push this exhaust port a couple of mil that way. And then, and then you'll have more flow. Um, bringing it down, I don't know if there's much advantage to it, but we're going to do it anyway, um, just because it's... A bigger exhaust port but what we'll do there is as i said we'll run this bridge on the secondaries but what i do on the primary is that's what i've got on this one which actually opens the port up there i have a six port bridge and that primary has been ported out so we'll just use that one lay that on there and if i remember rightly we can actually mix and match these templates in such a way, I don't know if you can see it, but you can just see the bridge right there. If we actually put that template on first and then throw this one on, we can bring the bridge down a little bit more. I don't want to go past that point, but we can actually come down to there and we'll have a big bridge on the primary. Yep, so I'm not going to do that today. I will probably get stuck into these on Friday night. It's a good Friday night mission to port these. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that need to clean. Um, we'll get, we'll have a look at these rotors now. Yeah, so as you can see, she's crunchy. Um, I wouldn't have thought there would have been this much carbon on here, but there it is. So these are the scraper tube, ah, uh, scraper tubes, scraper bars that we're gonna ditch. Now they're part of the emission controls. You still have your oil control rings in here, which they're still in good condition. So that's the whole idea about the porting that and what i will do where are we if you can see in there when i put the bridge down through there we're going to cut to the side of the housing as well and make it flow in but besides that it's just going to be clean lay it all out port it get a soft seal kit and reassemble it this engine had really really good compression um it's probably the first renesis that i've ever felt that actually sprung back on you when you turn when you turn the flywheel so We'll try and get it back, all the cells back into the, to their homes and we'll try and get that compression back. But it has an odd smell to it. I don't, 
It must have run hot at some point. I don't know. But yeah, all these water seals are toast. So all new, but that's good practice anyway. Re always replace them. So if you made it this far in the video, um, it's already dragged on long enough. I was originally going to port it and then reassemble the engine all in one video, but we'll give it a couple of days. I still need to put this one back in Saturday. Anyway, thanks for watching. Quite stoked. That's it. all the liquid I dumped. Not much this time. If you remember when I built this engine, the whole floor was covered over there. It's getting better.